What's goody fellas and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our stay only rebuilds. Thank you so much for the support on this series. You guys have been amazing so far. So we had a little bit of a dilemma. We are doing New York and people were saying do Syracuse, obviously. The problem is we've done Boston College already and we've done Duke, North Carolina and I don't remember Boston College. Oh, New England, that's right. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. I do like doing the non-Power 5 schools as well. I think they're the most fun in a lot of areas as well. So we're rocking with Buffalo for New York. Should be fun. They're coming in 72 overall. Two star school. I remember when I did a Buffalo Dynasty. They had a really good running back or something like that. And I can't seem to find him. We have a 69 at tight end. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. Don't think that we're out of this rebuild like easy squeezy lemon cheesy. All right, so let's check it out then. Please don't make me have to add New Jersey as well. New York. That's not bad. No, there's, ah, uh, no, there's heaps of talent in New York. We're chilling. We're chilling. I thought this was going to be the more famous the state is to the world, the better the talent is. Tell me New York is a cold football state. Look at that. We got a quarterback in Paul Wilson. It took 10 years to find a quarterback from Wyoming. Easy work. This guy went up eight overall and he's Chad. The very first game of the rebuild is going to be against rank four Ohio State. And we got Baylor. I guess I'll take Brad Sanders. All right, so we're gonna start off with two L's, obviously. Oh, speaking of which, we do all of these rebuilds live on Twitch, so make sure you click the links in the description. The top one is my TikTok. Thank you guys for the support on that. A lot of videos are blowing up. Make sure you follow the Twitch as well, all right? We do a lot of fun shit over on Twitch. We break this game on Twitch. All right, so we have everybody coming in versus Eastern Michigan. I feel like this is gonna be a very bad season for us. We're kind of clawing our way back. We just have to make sure we get all of these recruits, including the QB, which looks like it's gonna be possible with Paul Wilson. Ah, uh, we got a lot of good people there. This is what I'm talking about. New York is not that bad at all. All right, we're actually going to go for Locksmith early. I think that would be very important to get. I'm going to try it a little bit different today. Oh, would you look at that? I can automatically break back in. We're in the conference championship already. Our target spin per year is only five. Okay, so our outside linebacker, Kadofi, is leaving. That kind of sucks. He's pretty good. Top classes, we get 91st. That's fine, though. I'll take the three-star any day, and we go up overall, so... No stress. Oh my, we are so bad. We have two cornerbacks. All right, come on, New York. Don't let me down. Don't be trash. Nice. A four star. And it looks like Syracuse, Army of Ruggers are the top three for like a lot of players. That's good. That means the New Yorkers want to stay in New York. 95 Excel and Lon... Wait, that's Lonnie Johnson from the Dreadnought series. Lonnie Johnson is going right to the top of the board. Any other cornerbacks are automatically getting a scully. Wow, our defense is really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. I have to be careful here, though, because we have to get Sean Miles. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did yesterday. Clemson! Can you give me a bra? Why do we have... Why is Clemson on our schedule? Are we just a tuna? Are we the NCAA Division I team side bitch? Because that's what it feels like right now. Please, can we get our first win? We got Nebraska. Dude, come on, man. I know I only have two cornerbacks on the field, but please, I'm going to get fired. All right, Jamal Garcia, Courtney Carter, and Devon Jefferson all going to commit to the team. We're one and five, though. The recruits are good, though. We're kind of like filling out that we're getting a lot of depth. Okay, so Ohio is also one and five. They're going to beat us. All right, nice. Sean Miles is going to commit 77 overall. The only problem is we're one and eight. We could have been more excited with what you've done here. I went two and ten, and they're excited, Chad. All right, we're losing some players, but they're only 70s, so it's okay. We don't mind losing the 70s. 60 overall from RI? Is that Rhode Island? Sorry, my dude, I can't take you. Wait, where did my linebacker go? Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, please don't take away my linebacker. All right, so we go up to the 52nd best class. We were the 70th something last year. Do we redshirt Paul Wilson here? I think we do because he's about the same overall as Trevor. And I think it'd just be way more beneficial to let Trevor play out his senior season. And that way Wilson can go up as well. So, you know, gonna redshirt Sean Miles as well. Six foot seven quarterback that runs a four, four, four. Ah, why don't you want to come here, Jarvis Christian? He's an 80. 
Please, Jason Hayes. We have to full send for that guy. I really want Cornelius. Not for any particular reason, but why would you turn down a recruit named Cornelius? Cornelius sounds like a beast, though. So we don't have instant commit. I need to get Jason Hayes, though. Realistically, I need to get all of these guys that are in the 70s. Any single one of them would be an amazing addition. So a C pluses across the... Well, not C pluses, but we're better. We're better. We're better. And that's with people red shirted as well. All our freshmen got red shirted. How many Stacey have left? A lot. <laughs> we are gaining on Jason Hayes. We have to stay. Oh man, we're going to steal him from Syracuse. Irvin Yates is in the bag. Jeff Bradshaw might be a problem. We're getting close though. We're getting very close. I don't really care too much about the rest of these guys, but I just rather. See, look at that. Uh, I don't like the fact that they're coming in week nine though. All right, Irvin, Andrew, and Dan, all gonna commit to the team. Very nice. We're four and one as well. Give me my carter back. I just want Jason Hayes, man. Syracuse is gonna bounce back. We're gonna have to keep an eye out here. Did Syracuse just, hold on, wait, hold on a second. I could have sworn, or maybe it was Army? I could have sworn Syracuse was going after Jason Hayes. And now they're 11 and a half. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, he's going to visit Army, but it's not going to matter because they're going to stay 1300. All right, we're still in this battle. Coach of the year final, so we'll take that. This video is brought to you by manscaped.com. Christmas came early this year with the new Performance Package 4.0 kit. This all-in-one grooming kit has got you covered from head to toe, literally. The big dog of the bunch is their Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof trimmer. With its advanced skin safe tech, it reduces nicks and cuts to even the most sensitive regions. It's cordless and even has a light to see on those cold, dark winter nights. See, look. My personal favorite of the bunch is the ball deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. It really is a game changer and mate, both of these products smell absolutely amazing. Without a doubt, every guy should add Manscaped to their wish list this year. And for a limited time, you'll get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the comfiest underwear, the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. I mean, come on, that's a gift on top of a gift. So why waste time? Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use promo code CROW at checkout. Thank you again to Manscaped for the sponsor and now back to the video. All right, we're losing a bunch of people. We got some 80s sprinkled in there, but uh, once we pick up this quarterback, I think everything is a G. York, and this guy's from MA. I don't know what, is that Maine? Blair McNamara from Tonawanda. New York, six foot six DT, freshman. All right, full send 15K, Jason Hayes. This time we get the 31st best class because we got two four stars. Some could argue the quarterback was a five star. All right, quarterback. So we're going to probably move Paul Wilson. I know we can play elsewhere. He was our quarterback, but we're going to slide him in at receiver for now. But that'll be the last player I redshirt just because, again, Casey Case. Is going to go to an 85. He's going to be better anyway. And on top of that, he's a senior, bro. Let him play his last year. Let him do his thing. All right, last person of the rebuild that we're going to redshirt is uh, Hayes. And then he takes over next year. And then from there, I think it's a uh, GG, man. I think we're good after that. New York. Ooh, we got some four stars in here, though. Okay, not many players this year. It's all right. We'll just fill out the board with our randoms, I guess. I should be trying to get him first on the board like this guy, James Rice. Insta commit, not going to pop, though. Not going to pop. 38 to 14 over Boston College. Ooh, hold on. That was a bit of a power spike right there. All right, we're going to keep it like that for now. I like this. The classes have been consistently good. Not any of them. No, not Titus. He went to Notre Dame. All right, we're going to get a contract extension again. Nine and four. Does that mean that we go up to a four-star prestige? That's the real question, though. All right, we got a brand new offensive coordinator. What's his name? Brian Harson. All right, we lost some studs right there. Oh, uh, we don't go up to a four-star prestige. How do I have to break that? I don't actually know how that works. 52nd best class, though. That's pretty good considering uh, we didn't even get our main target. So quarterback, we're going to have Jason Hayes, freshman starting. We have to get some more O-linemen, though. D-line is a big problem as well. Linebacker is a another big problem. Big yikes there. 97 overall for the kicker? What? I feel like the rebuild is slowly but surely coming to an end. Did you get the quarterback? We did get the quarterback. Yes, he is starting this year. Two four stars. We got some running backs. We got a guard. Definitely need to get some O linemen. Definitely need to get some linebackers. I just wish the linebacker talent was a little bit better. Bro, this guy has 90 speed as a freshman. Six foot seven, chat. 
B, B plus and B minus. We're getting better. They're actually not that bad. They might upset us here. We got Auburn. How did I miss that? Okay, we get the dub over Southern Miss, but we're going to lose to Auburn, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Let's go, chat. That's what I'm saying, man. Don't play with New York like that. After knocking off Auburn, and we get pretty much everybody. We're not ranked. We're 5-0, and though. All right, we're pretty much done for this season as well. Did pick up some 70s. Wasn't a lot of talent to really go after, though. All right, man. Tough schedule to finish out. I knew it. I knew it. We get ranked, and we lose to Ken. All right, we got NIU, who are ranked 7. Ooh. We beat him. Sucked in. <laughs> Sucked in, NIU. 12 wins? We're not going to beat Indiana, but... Nah! <laughs> no way! And Indiana, though? We just need to not lose that game to Kent State next time, and I think we're in a good spot. We'll go 7 in our... Ooh, I'm going to go 7 into Ahmed, and we'll go 8K into Thomas Madsen. We're up to a 4-star prestige. 41th best class. Uh, I don't think New York has produced one 5-star player yet. All right, so our quarterback as a sophomore is 94 overall. Red Bank's crying. <laughs> Not Red crying. It's okay, Red. All right, New York, give me my first five star if you wouldn't mind. It's going to be a four star. But you know what? We'll take it. All right, we are. B plus, B plus, and B. Going up to a 91 on offense. We're going to lose this game. I guarantee you we're going to lose this game. I guarantee you. I don't know why. Ooh, we beat the shit out of Memphis. Army might be on the upset alert. 48-0. Ah. I knew we were going to lose to Army. All right, we get ourselves an offensive lineman. I wonder where we're ranked there. Is there a way to check? Yes. I feel like if we win every game for the rest of the season, we might be in the top eight. We redeemed ourselves against Kent. All right, coach of the year finalists. We only go up to rank 17, which means we're not going to the top eight. We win our bowl game, so we go 12-1 and one back to back. Okay, we do lose our backup quarterback, but it's like, eh. Damn, we lost a lot of offensive linemen, though. 73. We're a five-star school now. Woo! Great, five-star. All we need is New York to have a five-star player. 99 awareness as well for our quarterback. We got to at least be ranked 25, right? We're ranked 19. This is the season. This is the season right here, man. Look at our tight ends as well. 87, 84. Ever had snake, bro? No. Why would I eat a snake? You gotta be snarking my chan. All right, so in season, whatever we are, 91, 93, 92, though. For some reason, I'm a little bit nervous, but we're ranked two. Yes. Oh, that's a close win right there. I didn't even unveil my biggest surprise yet. When it's all said and done and all the states are done, we're going to do one last rebuild where I try to win a natty with all the states that couldn't win a natty. And it's going to be called The Leftovers Only. That's 10 and 0, bro. That's 10 and 0. Can New York win a natty? You're damn right. And we did it without a singular five star. All right, we are almost identical to them. I quickly want to check out the quarterback stats, though. He had the most yards. What about career stats, sir? 11,000, uh, 10,000 yards, 120 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Not bad at all. I like uh, Jason Hayes. Seems like a good bloke. Oh, this guy is fast. Oh, this guy. Oh, my goodness. Put it on TikTok immediately. Send me the clip. Go get it. Oh, my good. Oh, my. Step back, cheese. Oh, that would have been so sick. Are we gone? Are we gone just like that? Not Campbell. Not Campbell. Oh, clean. We always get a kick return touchdown in the natty. I didn't score the touchdown. <laughs> Not to the Far Cry 3 music. Campbell through the gap. Go Campbell, please. No. That was perfect. That could have been so good. He's not moving. <laughs> He's stuck. Uh... Wait, why is he not moving? Please. I'm, now i got to take a flag. So I guess the question is, can New York build a national championship winning team? The answer is a fat, juicy yes. Not only that, they can do it without signing a singular four-star player. The first rebuild where we have won a natty without signing one five-star player as well. Pretty freaking impressive. Keep in mind, if you want to see these live, make sure to come through to the Twitch. It's always the link in the description. If you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Ooh.